Welcome back to Accounting Stuff, I'm James and today I'll show you how to make a balance sheet. The balance sheet is one of the three main financial statements. The other two, called the income statement, which we did in the last video, and the cash flow statement, which we'll cover next time. A balance sheet, or a statement of financial position, is a financial report that gives us a snapshot of a business's assets, liabilities and equity at a single point in time. Now, if you've watched my videos before, then you've probably heard this one. The stuff that a business owns is equal to the stuff that a business owes. In other words, a business owns assets and it owes liabilities to third parties. The difference between the two is called equity, which is what the business owes back to its owners. And so we have the accounting equation. Assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. When we take a snapshot of this accounting equation at a single point in time, we're looking at a balance sheet. We'll call this one the basic balance sheet. And as its name suggests, it's got to balance. That means that total assets must always equal total liabilities and equity. A detailed balance sheet would look something like this. We expand out assets into current and non-current. Current assets are short-term assets things like receivables and prepaid expenses. On the other hand, non-current assets are long-term assets. There are two main types, the ones that you can touch and the ones that you can't touch. We do the same thing with liabilities. Current liabilities are short-term liabilities, payables, accrued expenses and deferred revenue, and non-current liabilities are long-term liabilities, stuff like long-term loans. Equity, on the other hand, is a different kettle of fish. First, we have capital contributions, which is the money invested into the business by its owners. For a company with shareholders, we might call this common stock. And then we have the business's retained earnings, which are its accumulated profits held for future use. I do have a balance sheet cheat sheet which summarizes all of this, the links in the description. Anyways, how do you make a basic balance sheet? First, you need another accounting report called a trial balance. This shows us the closing balances for every general ledger account at a point in time. Here's a trial balance for a dating app called Tumble. It was run at the end of Tumble's financial year, December 31st, and it's an adjusted trial balance because all adjusting entries have already been posted. We can see all of Tumble's accounts and balances. Debits are on the left and credits are on the right. At the bottom, we can see that the debits total to $87,700,000, which matches the total credits exactly. This means that Tumble's trial balance is in balance, which is very important because if the trial balance is in balance, then the balance sheet also has to balance. Pfft, don't think I've ever said balance so much in my life. Accounts in a trial balance are usually arranged in a pattern. Above this line, we have the stuff that Tumble owns, its assets. And below the line, we have the stuff that Tumble owes, its liabilities and equity. We also have its revenue and expense accounts, which we used last time to make the income statement. By the way, if you're finding these videos useful and you'd like to support the channel, then you can click on the join button below. Thanks to all my channel members who've done that already. You guys are absolute legends and I really appreciate it. Thank you. So how do we make a balance sheet? There's two ways to do this the right way and the wrong way, and I'll show you both. We'll start with the wrong way because this is a really easy mistake to make. And it goes something like this. We take all of Tumble's assets, liabilities, and equity accounts, and we pop them in their sections of the balance sheet. In theory, it's the right thing to do, but check this out. Total assets add up to $36,350,000, and total liabilities plus equity add up to $25,650,000. That's a difference of $10,700,000. So this balance sheet doesn't balance. What went wrong? We forgot to include Tumble's revenue and expenses. These are part of Tumble's retained earnings. It's profits held for future use, which also sit in the equity section of its balance sheet. When we include them, total liabilities plus equity also add up to $36,350,000. So Tumble's basic balance sheet is in balance. Remember, the balance sheet is a snapshot 
of a business's assets, liabilities, and equity at a single point in time. On the left side, we can see what the business owns, and on the right side, we can see what it owes to third parties and its owners. How do we make a detailed balance sheet? We follow the same process, but first, we need to divide Tumble's assets and liabilities into current and non-current. Cash, accounts receivable, other receivables, and prepaid expenses are all current assets. Property, plant, and equipment, and intangibles are non-current assets. Accounts payable, taxes payable, accrued expenses, and deferred revenue are all current liabilities. And long-term loans is a non-current liability. In the equity section, common stock is a type of capital contribution and everything below that is retained earnings. These are Tumble's profits held for future use. Their opening retained earnings at the start of the year, less dividends, plus Tumble's net profit in the current year. And that's it. We can pick up all these numbers and put them in our detailed balance sheet. So we've got current assets, $31,050,000, and 5.3 million in non-current assets. Current liabilities of $14.4 million and non-current liabilities of $1.2 million. Then we have $1,050,000 in common stock, which is a type of capital contribution. And finally, $19,700,000 in retained earnings or profits held for future use. Total assets are equal to total liabilities plus equity. So this balance sheet is in balance. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this useful. In the next video, we'll cover the cash flow statement. See you then.